Hello again, and welcome to Granny Dorothy Visits. Today's topic is, I am divinely partnered and led. And the first reading, as usual, is from Wayne Dyer's Everyday Wisdom. And he says, What you see is evidence of what you believe. Believe it, and you'll see it. And from Julia Cameron's Blessings, the quote at the top of the page is from Rumi. There is a place where words are born of silence, a place where the whispers of the heart arise. And the title of this chapter, only two pages, is I am divinely partnered and led. I am blessed by the guidance of spirit in many forms. I open my heart and my mind to the influence of higher forces. I relinquish my definition of myself as small and limited. I invite guidance and inspiration. I welcome new thoughts and perceptions, larger perspectives and possibilities. Rather than insist on being the sole author of my life, I invite the collaborative forces of the universe. Synchronicity. Confidence. Reinforcement. And serendipity. These are the friendly companions which speak to me clearly of higher realms. Rather than close my mind to the possibility of active spiritual intervention in my affairs, I commit to noticing, noting, and acknowledging the support which I actually receive. Life is an orchestra. I am at once a musician, a music, a conductor, a composer, and an audience. I recognize the multiple roles and I embrace the harmonies of my accompaniment. I am perfectly, intricately partnered. I count this partnership a central blessing in my life. And the third and last reading today is from Richard Carlson's book, but not his, um, you know, <laughs> Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, but from this one called Don't Get Scrooged. And this is called Picture the Perfect Encounter. Could you actually enjoy the Scrooge? Many of us are highly skilled at anticipating the worst that could happen. We imagine embarrassing ourselves at a party or bungling at a presentation at work. And the thoughts can be so vivid that our stomachs churn and we cower in our cubicles, a slave to our nerves. As a result, we never try new things. But if our powers of imagination can do all this, can't they do positive things in reverse? Can't we create visions of competence and success that we find calming and encouraging? My anticipation of a big, important meeting where several of my not-so-favorite people would be in attendance had me frowning every time I thought about it for weeks. Finally, I caught myself wasting another ten minutes fretting as visuals of conflict and dissent danced through my head. I decided to give equal time to painting a more positive mental picture. In addition to my usual preparation for the meeting, I spent a few minutes visualizing the event going off without a hitch and everyone getting along wonderfully. I closed my eyes and imagine myself at the meeting, start to finish. If a bad scene popped up, I consciously put a positive spin on it, looking for a way it could work out well. I imagined the meeting going smoothly and anticipating how good I would feel after this success. I concentrated on picturing the people I was worried about acting like perfect gentlemen. I'm no magician, but as it turns out, my visualization pretty much came true. The meeting went well, and the people there behaved beautifully. As I say, 
I don't believe I possess magical powers, but I have come to accept the mysteries power of our mind the mysterious power of our minds. I have found not only that we can bring on bad outcomes by doing nothing but dreading and imagining them, but also that we can encourage positive outcomes by doing the opposite. You don't have to understand how visualization works, I don't fully, to have it work for you. Athletes do it all the time. Spending more concentrated time really seeing and feeling yourself pitch a strike, serve an ace, or sink a putt can subconsciously train your mind and body to do just that. Adding visualization to your usual prep work for just about anything, from sports and public speaking to sleeping and lowering your blood pressure, sets the scene and plants the seeds for success. A bonus benefit that is nothing, that is nothing to sneeze at is that while anticipating the worst can make us physically tense and anxious, Visualizing success tends to leave us relaxed and optimistic, feelings that can pave the way for our optimal performance. There are lots of good books and tapes out there on the subject of visualization, but you can give the basics a try anytime. When you anticipate feeling screwed by an impending encounter, take a few deep, slow breaths. Picture the person or event in question and imagine the best possible scenario. Try to see all in great detail. Sights, sounds, smells. Feel yourself being relaxed and confident, smiling and happy in that future scene. Feel better now? I bet you do. Your future can be pictured perfect. If you turn that worry around, and drive it backwards. What great advice, eh? I think it's something we should all try. Our minds are so important and our thoughts are too. I'm sending you great vibes, positive vibes, and I hope you have a wonderful day and I'm sending you all my love. Till next time. Bye.